Howdy folks, thanks for stopping in at Dad's Toolbox. In today's video, we're going to swap out that, right there, that duplex outlet for a decor outlet. Stick around. Alright, so here we are at our, at our receptacle here. I've got my decor receptacle. I've got my cover plate. I've got a Phillips head screwdriver that uh, is not really ready for electrical work, but it was the first one I found. I've got my, my Whirly or offset screwdriver, a pair of strippers, and a cordless drill. This should be all that we need to take care of this task. So let's get right to it. We'll go ahead. This is how you. This is how you use the whirly. You can put it right on there and just crank it and it'll turn. And the narrow head is perfect for trim screws. Mostly trim. That's what we use it for. Okay, so cordless drill. Technically this is an impact driver, but we're not going to use it for that today. We're just using it as a screw gun. Okay, so right off the bat, I can see that while this guy did a good thing and he put his screws, I mean, I'm sorry, his wires on the terminals, what he's done is he's fed the entire downstream side of this circuit through this plug. So, if we were to pull a heavy load on this plug, this is a possible point of failure. And not only that, uh, National Electrician's Code says that in order to, uh, when you install a receptacle, you're supposed to install it in such a way that when you remove the receptacle from the circuit, it does not interrupt the circuit. So as soon as I take one of these wires off, that circuit is interrupted. So I'm going to go ahead and start taking these off, and there's a chance that we'll lose our light. We'll see, because I'm doing this hot. Don't do this hot. Okay, I've been doing this for like 30 years. You, if you're watching this video, should not be doing this hot. So let's see what happens when I... Oh, there went my light. I may have to go get some, some light for this. Yeah, I'm definitely going to have to get some light for this. But just to show you what's going on here. So that's part of the problem. This is why they want you to be able to take the receptacle out of the circuit without interrupting the circuit. Because as soon as I take this off, it's going to go dark. There it went. Now we're in the dark. Alright, stand by while I go get a light. Hopefully that's enough light. In the meantime, I grab another set of pliers, some a piece of Romex that I cut. Let's see if I can get that in the frame somehow. There we go. Piece of Romex that I cut and some wire nuts. If you can see those. How about that? There we go. Alright. Now, oh I need a tester. Stand by while I grab a tester. Actually it don't matter. Yeah, it don't matter. One bit. So, we'll straighten this wire out, get it out of the way, now either this wire or this wire is the uh, line power or the incoming hot, so we've got to be careful with both. So 
pulling up these bad boys out of the way. That's straightened out. And then what we'll do, actually before I do that, let's do this. We'll go ahead and throw that on there and throw that on there. Now I could connect them and have light, but the problem is he's also got the neutrals done this way. So as soon as I undo one of those, one of these is going to become hot because it's going to run up through the light fixture and come back down on this other wire. And I don't want to create a situation where I've got multiple hot wires sticking out of it. So we'll go ahead and remove these. Let's get that out of the way. See what I'm doing here, but all I'm doing is prying that hook open with the screw. Uh, this one's being difficult, so I'll grab it with my pliers. I really should have grabbed my needle nose pliers because I can't quite get in there. Right, let's take this. Either one of these could be hot. We just got to be careful with it. We'll open this up and we will pull that off. Okay, so before we even mess with any of those wires, we're going to go ahead and put pigtails on our plug. So, what I'm doing here, I've got my little piece of Romex. I'm going to push the wire up out of the top there. And then I can grab it and pull it out. Now, the ground, the ground is properly connected, so I don't need to mess with that. So I'll set all that over here. I just need a black and a white wire. We'll take our strippers. We're going to strip off about half to three quarters of an inch. And then bend a little hook in it. Like so. Where are we at? Up here somewhere. There we go. And strip that and bend a little hook in. All right, now on these receptacles, right, you got your gold wires are where your hot wires go, your silver are where your neutrals go, and your green is where your ground goes. I've got a hot wire in my hand. So I'm going to put it on here. I always like to put it on the first first screw that, that faces into the hook. So we'll go ahead and put it in there and tighten it down. And then, so this thing doesn't become a hazard, we're going to tighten it down as well. Let me see about redirecting that light. First available screw, tighten it down. Looks like I pushed off a little bit. There we go. Okay, so I've got two pigtails sticking off of there. Now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to throw a bend in those first so they stay tucked back out of the way. Go ahead and crank that down and tighten this screw. This is our ground wire. Okay, now, actually let's straighten both these up because you want them to be about the length of your strippers. 
Don't ever cut more than one wire at a time unless you're sure that they're not lined. Because if you cut, if I reach up here and I cut those wires and one's energized and one goes to ground, it's going to make a spectacular light show. Alright, so we'll strip these. And then pull that bad boy around, get him straightened out. that sucker out, get him straightened out, and then we're going to cross them, grab them with our pliers and lightly, we're, we're, we're barely squeezing on the pliers, we're more interested in getting a good twist going. So once you get the, where they intersect in your pliers, you just twist. And now what we're going to do is add our hour wire. And what it'll do is it'll fall into that twist. We're going to put a little bit more pressure on there. Okay, now... Oh, there we go. Now, make sure you're cutting on the right side of your pliers. You see how there's a recess in here? and it's almost flat over here, you're going to take the flat side of your pliers and cut them all singly. And then we're going to take one of these and twist it off. And you want to twist it until you feel the wires in your fingers start to twist together. And that's good enough. If you twist it too far, they'll start to come out of the end. And they'll become a hazard at that point. Now, before we mess with any of these hot wires, we're going to get everything positioned. And then, see, these things are way longer than they need to be. There's my light again. I'm going to lightly twist. Now I'm going to add my wire into the twist. Now be careful where this hand is. You don't want it touching anything over here. And I see a mistake I've, I've made already, so I'm gonna have to address that here in a minute. But I'm gonna get these twisted, cut, and cap first. All right, so we've got them twisted together. Cut them all flush. And put our wire nut on. All right, so now that guy's safe. Now, I just got to be careful on those screw terminals. Now, I forgot to screw that in. We're going to go ahead and screw that in. There we go. That's done. All right. So now, what we want to do here, we want to bend these wires right in that area, right there. And then it looks like we're going to have to bend these down to get them to tuck in properly. Now, before we tuck all of the wires in, we're going to take this and we're going to throw a twist on it. And what that does, you see how this, this bare ground wire, if you just push all this stuff in there, there's a chance that bare ground wire can come out and contact these terminals right here. By twisting it, we make sure that all the wires travel into the box together. Just like so. And then, as always, we're going to start with the bottom screw. Get it started while we can see. And then, at the top. Now, this thing's kind of canted this way, so we're going to, before we tighten everything down, we're going to kind of straighten it out. And then we'll go ahead, and what we're going to do is we're going to turn this screw until it pulls that metal to where it just touches the, the sheetrock. Alright, now see, you know, we've got just a little bit of movement there. We want a little bit of movement. Now we're going to do the same thing on the top. Just a little bit of movement. Now, when you buy these things, you need two screws. What you need to do before you leave the store is make sure that there's two screws in there. Now, I've got one screw here and one screw there. 
So I know I've got two screws. Sometimes people will open the package or tear a little hole in the package and remove one of the screws because they were short. So you gotta make sure that you're taking care of yourself and grabbing the packages that have all the screws that are supposed to be there. Okay, so you notice how I, I just snapped that in there. These things these days, they retain the screws, so you don't have to worry about it. So we're going to take it and line it up on the plug. And when this thing is lined up on this receptacle here, those screws are right where they need to be. So all you have to do is start turning them. Okay, so I think we'll go there with that one. And then I'll turn the bottom one. So we've got a little jump in the slot there, so we've got to let's get that cleaned out. There we go. Now I like to line my screws up vertically. There you go. Decora light or decora receptacle. Done deal. So just a quick little tidbit while I'm cleaning up here. Um, pick all your garbage up. I know electricians are notorious for leaving their little scraps laying around. But also, uh, your old plug, I'm sorry, your old receptacle and your cover plate, you could, keep, you could store these together. That way if, uh, if you have anything go bad on you, you've got something on hand uh, should you need it. Just throw that in your parts bin and then, uh, yeah, you're good to go. All right, folks, that does it for this video. Thanks for taking the time to stop in and check it out. If you found anything in this video helpful or interesting in any way, hit that like button. Let me know I'm doing good work. And if you know anybody that's interested in this kind of stuff, share the video with them. See if they can make use of it. Y'all take care.